This video is gonna show you how to set up a new Shopify store for free, connect that Shopify store to your YouTube channel and sell your Shopify products on your channel. We need to start by building a Shopify store, which you can do on the page you'll see on screen. Now you can access this page by using the link in the description to this video. And if you use that link, you'll be able to set up your store for the first 14 days for free. To get started, you need to enter your email address. And the really important thing here, probably the most important thing in this whole setup, is you need to use the same email address to build your Shopify store as you use to log into your YouTube channel. Because that email address are what the two platforms are gonna to use to approve the connection. Cool, so next, just click on I'm just starting. Not really important what you click here. I clicked on that I'm selling through my online store. And I most importantly clicked that I'm selling through social media because I'm gonna be selling my products through YouTube too. Next, I clicked other because YouTube wasn't on the list. Next, I clicked yes when Shopify asked me if I'm gonna be doing dropshipping. If you don't know what dropshipping is, it's a business model where someone else makes your products and stores them for you. And then when you get an order through your store, that manufacturer will send the products to your customer. So that's what the dropshipping model of selling products is. I've used it in the past and I'm probably gonna use it in the future, so I clicked yes. If you plan on making and selling your own products, I'd click no on this screen. You can always change your Shopify store settings later on down the line if you find out that you wanna start doing dropshipping at a later date. Right, so next up you need to enter the name that you want your store to be called on this screen. I called mine the YouTubers Revenue Hub because I'm gonna be selling products that help YouTubers make more revenue but you can literally call it whatever you want. Then it's set where your business is located. It was UK for me. Now you've got to create your Shopify account. So enter your email address and password that you want to use to log into your Shopify store. I've obviously blurred my details out here. Cool. Then Shopify will show that it's building your store. Awesome. And now you're in to your Shopify store for the first time and you can see that your 14 day free trial started. Right, so first priority, I know from using Shopify that it's best to just put your payment details into Shopify as soon as possible. They don't charge you anything from your account for the first two weeks, but it just makes the setup process as straightforward and simple as possible if you enter your payment details in at stage one. Cool, so I clicked credit card and just entered my payment details here. Obviously blur all this stuff out. Cool, and then yeah, I selected monthly 19 pounds a month. If you're in America, it'd be $29 a month. I then realized that I needed to click on add address before it would actually let me proceed um, with entering my payment details. So I just went in, added my address details here. I unchecked the store being a registered business because I'm a sole trader, sole proprietor if you're in America. If you're a limited corporation, you're gonna to wanna to tick that box. My address details are entered. I can start my plan. And it tells me I'm gonna be paying 19 pounds every 30 days, but it's given me the first 14 days for free uh, while I'm on that free trial. Great, so I've now subscribed, just entered where I'd heard about Shopify from, so social media. Cool, so payment details are entered. If you click this little eyeball over here, you can see your Shopify store. You can see that there's not anything to it. It's just a template at this point in time, but the store is built, the payment details are entered. Now we just have to connect our Shopify store to our YouTube channel. So to do that, I went to my YouTube channel. Side note, my channel is all about helping YouTubers make more money with videos like this. So if you're a YouTuber that wants to make more money, make sure to subscribe to my channel while you're watching this. Then went to YouTube Studio, clicked on the monetization tab, clicked on the shopping tab, and you can see there's an option there to connect Shopify to YouTube. So click continue, I then press go to Shopify, and I can see that I've got to add the Google channel app to my Shopify store. So I just clicked on the Shopify account on the Shopify website that I've just set up. And you can see here, it's telling me it's gonna add the Google app to my Shopify store. So what you have to do is click the add sales channel button at the top and the connection between Shopify and YouTube will start getting set up. So then you click this button to connect your Google account. Click the Google account that you use to log into your YouTube channel and select your YouTube channel's account. And then you have to allow Google to connect to your Shopify store. Cool, and once that's done, you can see that nothing is ever as straightforward as you wanna be. I'm only four of the seven steps to completion with getting my Shopify store connected to my YouTube channel. And there's areas that I needed to fix before the connection is properly working. So if you look at this box here, you can see a list of things that I need to fix. First off, Shopify is telling me that I need to remove the password that is kind of locking my online store away from the public. So when you first set up a Shopify store, no one can see the front page of your Shopify store when they enter like the URL to go to your store. All they see is like a password login page where you as the owner of the store can log in 
and like make changes to the store. So we need to remove that password login page from our store to basically tell Shopify that our store is open to the public and unlock the ability to connect our public open store to our YouTube channel. So we just click this remove your online store password link here, scroll down to this password protection box, uncheck password protected and press save and your Shopify store will no longer have a password login screen on its homepage. It will be fully open and discoverable to the public. Great, so to get back to that screen with the list of errors that we need to fix, click on the home tab on Shopify, scroll down and just click this box here to review issues that you've got with the Google setup. Next up, Shopify is telling us that we need to add a refund policy and a terms of service to our store. So these are just like pages that our visitors to our Shopify store can see to understand like what our refund policy is and what our T's and C's are. So to get those policies set up, we just need to click this link to add our refund policies and our terms of service. That'll take us through to this policies page and it's really easy to get our refund policy and terms of service set up and added to our store. We just need to click this button here and we can generate our refund policy from a template. Then we can scroll down and generate a privacy policy from a template, generate our terms of service from a template. Like Shopify just does all of this stuff for you. So then I just press saved, that step was done. So close the screen that was on there, go back and click on the Google link to go back to the screen of errors. But then when I scrolled down, I saw that the refund policy step hadn't been ticked off because Shopify is asking me to add links to the refund policy and the terms of service into the footer of my Shopify store. So that when hypothetically customers come through to my Shopify store, they can find the links to the refund policy and the terms of service policy by just checking the footer of my Shopify store. So you're going to click this link which will allow you to add policy pages to the footer of your Shopify store. And that's it, one click and that's all done for you. And finally, we're being told that we're required to add contact information to our Shopify store before we're gonna be allowed to connect our Shopify store to our YouTube channel. So if we give that link a click and then we just press confirm, telling Shopify that we've added our contact information to our store, but, I now encountered another error. You see the red message there. There's a problem verifying and claiming my domain. So I thought I'd worked for all the errors and Shopify is now presenting me with one final error that I had to solve before I could connect my new Shopify store to my YouTube channel. I went to this box below and added my phone number in to start a process of verifying that I am actually the store owner and I'm a real person. So Shopify sent me a text message. I then had to enter the code I got from that text message in these boxes in order to verify myself. But even after entering my phone number, I was still seeing this error message saying that my domain wasn't verified or claimed. I didn't really know what to do, so I clicked that link here to contact Shopify support. I pressed log in, clicked on my Shopify account, and I saw this new error message that there were details missing from my Shopify account settings page. So I just clicked this button to go through to the account settings page. I then saw that I hadn't clicked like a verification link in a verification email. And I also noticed that I hadn't entered my first name, last name and phone number in the details box below that. So I put my name in there. It said phone number was optional, so I didn't bother with the phone number and I saved those details. Then I realized that I hadn't even seen a verification email in my inbox. So I just pressed the button here to resend that verification email to my email account. When that verification email came through to my email inbox, I just pressed the button to confirm my email address. I saw a message that my email had been verified and pressed to go to my store and then asked me to log in again for some reason, so I logged in again. And lo and behold, once I'd logged in again, the error message was still there. So at this point, I had no idea what to do. So I figured, screw it, I'll just try disconnecting my Google Merchant account and reconnecting it and see if that fixed the problem. So I pressed disconnect. Confirm the disconnect warning message, then clicked to reconnect it. And would you look at that? No more error messages. That fixed the problem. If you're seeing the same problem I had, just disconnect your Google Merchant Center account, reconnect it at this point, and everything should be fine. For some reason, my phone verification had been lost. So I had to go through doing that again. So got a text message, re entered the code, press verify, job done. I then clicked my country and language that I was targeting. So I'm in the UK, so I pressed UK and target language that I want my customers to be landing on my store with is English, so I pressed English. On this shipping settings page, I just basically said I wanted Shopify to automatically decide 
the shipping settings to use for my products. If you're selling physical products rather than digital products, you can always go back and fine tune shipping settings uh, at a later date. There's plenty of videos on YouTube as well on how to set up shipping settings in YouTube. But for now, because I know that I'm mainly going to be selling digital products, I know that shipping settings aren't really important for me. So I just pressed automatic to move on to the next screen. So press save, agree to the terms and conditions, complete setup, and voila. In theory, your Shopify store should now be connected to your YouTube account. You can see on this screen that I've got no products in my Shopify store, so there's no products to therefore be displayed on my YouTube channel at this point in time. But if I did have products, they would be in one of these three categories, approved to be on YouTube, pending approval to be on YouTube, or not approved to be shown on my YouTube channel. Cool, next step, I scroll down to the bottom of the page and you'll see this YouTube section, YouTube shopping. And this is where the syncing between your Shopify products and your YouTube channel kind of gets set up. So press the get started button on the YouTube shopping page. It then tells you a ton of requirements that you need to have hit on your YouTube channel to be eligible to do this. So you need to you know, have a thousand subscribers, uh, be in the right country, that standard YouTube stuff. So just click continue on this screen because I'm assuming you've got a YouTube channel that has a hit all of the eligibility criteria that you're gonna see on this page. Press again that you agree to some more terms, the YouTube shopping terms and then press complete setup. And boom, you've got past the hardest part of setting up the synchronization between your Shopify store and your Shopify products and your YouTube channel. I know that feels like there's some repeated processes there. I don't know why, but there just is. But look back on this page where you'll see if you had products, where in the approval process they are, when the decision is being made, whether they are eligible to be shown on your YouTube channel or not. And you'll see this box at the top that says it takes around three to five days for your products to be judged and decided whether they're gonna be able to be shown on your YouTube channel or not. Quick run through on how to make a new product in Shopify. You just press add products over here in the pro products tab on the left. I hypothetically created a digital product here just to show you how this would work. So, you know, the name of the product is my selling on YouTube mini course, typed out a quick description added an image for the product. In regards to price, I did a little experiment here where I set my Shopify product price to zero. So I wanted to experiment to see if I can actually put free products on my YouTube channel. Found out after filming this video that you're not actually allowed to make free products to go onto your YouTube channel. But that's why I set the price of this at zero pounds in this video. Because it's a digital product, there is no quantity of products. I unticked the track quantity box, but if you have physical products where you've got a finite amount, you're gonna want that track quantity box ticked. I then unticked the box, this is a physical product because I'm just selling a digital cause, it's not a physical product, so this wasn't relevant, so unticked that. I set this product as draft because I just made it as an example for this video, but if this was your real product, you'd be setting obviously the status of the product to active for it to actually show on your Shopify store and also go through that approval process and eventually be shown on your YouTube channel. And then you just press save. So fast forward about seven days, I actually have a genuine product that is currently going through the approval process from Google, where it's gonna be determined whether it can be shown on my YouTube channel or not. If I click on this link next to pending, you can see the product is a 60 minute coaching call with me where I help YouTubers understand how they can be making more money from their YouTube channels. And to be honest with you, this has been in the pending stage for about six days now. So that three to five day review process, I guess it's not always strictly three to five days because it's been more than that for me. But hopefully this will soon be approved and when people click the link to this product on my YouTube channel, it will take them through to this product page on Shopify where they can then go and buy 60 minutes of coaching with me. I'm gonna be making a lot more videos on how to make the most of your Shopify store being integrated into YouTube in the future. I'll be giving you updates on my products and their approval process. And also there's just gonna be a ton more videos on how to make more money as a YouTuber. So make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you've had any problems setting up your store as well, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one.